Okay, I'm silent and in this video we're going to use Magic Beef to obtain a jersey and then we're also going to, you know, make an outfit so that it looks better. Uh, during my research I made this in black as you can see here but in this video we're actually going to make it in white. The only thing that you need for this outfit is a pair of joggers. I got mine from CEO Outfits, it's the outfit called um, Warlord. And then to set up our C1 outfit, we're just going to apply our joggers, like you see here. And then you'll just see me remove all the junk off the head and stuff. Alright, now with our joggers on, we're going to go into the tops and we'll go into the vests. Now to obtain the white jersey here, we're going to put on the blue-grey vest. Um, I'll leave the other colours in the description box, but for the white one, we want the blue-grey vest on. And then we're going to put on our white sleeves. Well, I use white. You can use whatever color sleeves you like, but I use white in this video. And then I'm going to go over to the ties, and then I'm going to put on a bow tie. You can either do that or not. It just depends on whether you want a tie on the finished outfit. I did, so I put on the black one. I tried to decide between the white or the black, but I went with the black in the end. So this is our C1 outfit here. We only need the joggers on and the vest and our bow tie if you're using one. And then this is our C1 outfit. We'll just save it in our C1 position. I use slot 20. Just like you see here. Now for the C2 outfit, we're going to go back into tops. We're going to go into labels. And then we're just going to apply any one of these mis misbehave, misbehave sweaters. I just go with the bottom most one, we're just going to apply that and then we will save that in our C2 position for what I use slot 1 for C2, just like that. Now this is our C1 outfit here oh. and then we've got our C2 Sorry. outfit here. I... For Magic Beef, what we want to do is we're going to put on a standard outfit. I use the Effortless, you can use any you like. Any of them work, but just, it just has to be a standard outfit. So once we've got those set up, we are going to go outside. Now all we're going to do here is we're going to apply a parachute and then remove it. You can, do, you can do whatever you like to trigger a save. All we have to do is just trigger a save. Whether you remove the glasses, it doesn't really matter. But I just put the parachute on and then off again. Once you've done that, we're just going to sit on the alert to Franklin and then cut our net. This here is my second console. Once that loads in, we will open up the interaction menu. We will go to style and we will just hit the C2 outfit, which is the sweater here. We'll wait for the save circle to finish and then we'll just head back to story. And then back on our console one, we're just going to apply the vest outfit. The save circle will finish, hopefully in time before you get kicked back to story. Just like you see here. All right, and then when we load in, we'll be wearing the white jersey with our white sleeves. We'll have our bow tie on. We've still got our joggers on. We're just going to save this arrangement here in our C1 position. Now, obviously, we have to um, change the joggers and stuff because they have this lovely tan color. But I'm just going to apply my the shoes that I want on the finished outfit first. You can do this either now or after the outfit's finished. doesn't really matter. But I go on and put on the all-white sports shoes. And then that is my C1 outfit. Now, to change our joggers to the white ones, we're going to go into the cargo pants. Now, we're going to put on the cargo pants that will um, give us our target color, which is, in this, for this outfit, it's white. So we're going to put on the, um, the Moss Digital cargo pants, like you see here. I also want the spiked cuffs on the finished outfit, so we will apply the spiked cuffs to C2. And then I also thought I'd check some glasses, so we'll go into sports glasses and then we'll put on the black wraparounds. We only need glasses on C2 to check of those. You don't need any glasses on C1 to check of those. So this is our C2 outfit here. We're just going to save this over our C2 position. Just like that. And then we've got our two outfits set up. This is our C1 here. And then this is our C2. Now, 
Once we've got those two outfits set up, we're going to go outside and we, are, we will make sure that our parachute is set to the Israel bag. So we're going to open up the interaction menu. We will apply our, well, in this video I actually check first because sometimes I'm dumber. So we'll just apply the C1 outfit. We'll set our Israel parachute to on and then we're just going to apply any hat to check out the glasses. It might, you might have a different hat on at this stage, but it's just any hat. And then same thing again, we'll just wait for the safe circle to finish, we'll sit on the alert to Franklin, and then we'll cut our net. Now on our C2 console, this is my C2 here, we'll open up the interaction menu, and then we will apply the C2 outfit, which is the one with the moss cargo pants on. We'll wait for the safe circle to finish there, and then head back to story. And then back on our C1, we will just reapply the C1 outfit, which will just remove everything for you. And then we'll just close the interaction menu. The safe circle will start up. I usually let it swing for a couple of seconds before I reconnect net cut. And then when we load in, our outfit here will be finished. So this outfit is like super easy and it's really cool too. And the other cool thing about this is that when this outfit is finished, you can, like, if you don't like the bow tie, because I didn't really like the bow tie in the end, on this outfit anyway, you can actually um, apply scarves and stuff to it. Well, you can only apply scarves to it. So the, whether you want the desert scarf on it or the winter scarves, I went on and put on the white winter scarf with this one. I lost the checkered glasses, because if you change anything, you'll lose the checkered glasses. But so that's how we make, that's how you get jerseys with Beth, and it's really easy. So thank you for watching. Of course, you can always find the components on my website, llsilent.com. That's L-L-S-I-L-X-N-T.com. Thank you for watching.